The Election Affairs Department at the Ministry of Interior has opened candidate registration for the National Assembly by election, which will continue for 10 days ending May 29th. The elections will be carried out in the same way as the main polls held for the current Assembly, which was elected in July of 2013. Sarah Glubb was in Schwerch and has this report. The Ministry of Interior has launched the candidate registration process for by-elections to fill the seats that fell vacant after five MPs resigned, with the date of the by-election scheduled for June 26th, just two days before the start of the Holy Muslim Fasting month of Ramadan. First of all, I would like to announce this is the beginning uh, uh, of the process of the supplemental election for the National Kuwaiti Assembly. Uh, for the you know, for the vacant seat in the second and third and fourth electoral circuit, uh, uh, this this process uh, will last will will begin today until the 29th uh, of May, uh, ten uh, continuous days. Uh, so those who desire to nominate themselves, uh, they have to attend the election department and Ministry of Interior. Uh, bringing with them, uh, you know, what they call the requirement, bringing with them uh, uh, the Kuwaiti uh, national certificate, the, or the original Kuwaiti national certificates, uh, and uh, and the fee for the for uh, we call it the, ins the ins insurance fee, uh, 50 KD, and two uh, personal pictures, uh, and this is uh, this is mainly the requirement for for the registration. Today. Uh, uh, we received uh, 14 candidates uh, you know, distributed on the, the three uh, electoral circuits, 13 of them male, male candidates and one female, so the total uh, comes up to 14. On the first day of registration, a total of 14 candidates handed in their nominations, including three in the second constituency, seven in the third constituency and four in the fourth constituency. The by-election will be carried out in the second and third constituencies with two seats each to fill and one seat from the fourth. Uh, first of all, uh, I was a member in uh, the dissolved uh, parliament uh, number two. So I spent six months in, uh, in the parliament. Uh, I did a lot of work in there. There are a lot of uh, issues that I have suggested in there, still in the drawers. Uh, with God's help, uh, if I, uh, when I win, when I win, not if I win, when I win, uh, I will take these uh, suggestions and I put them uh, into work and hopefully uh, it, will be, uh, uh, it will be good for the country and for the, uh, pop the whole population. The five seats became vacant after opposition MPs Riyadh al Adsani, Abdul Karim al Kandiri, Hussein Gouyan, Ali al Rashid, and Safa al Hashim resigned. There is a short time, and uh, there is a lot of paperwork has to be done after uh, after that. Uh, plus, uh, I cannot uh, advertise that I am a candidate unless I register. So, uh, if I don't register today, I cannot advertise as a as a candidate. The parliament is running the whole country. If you don't select uh, who you think is uh, the good people, uh, believe me, someone else will go in and uh, he's going to be either bad or even worse. So uh, it's your choice. Uh, you want uh, the good or the bad, it's your selection. The Interior Ministry reminded that candidates wishing to contest in the election should be Kuwaiti by birth, at least 30 years of age, and know how to read and write Arabic. They should also not possess a criminal record unless they have been rehabilitated. Almost one year later, and the Election Affairs Department at the Ministry of Interior has opened its doors for candidates to register in the National Assembly by-elections, where five MPs will be elected to fill the vacant seats left in the second, third and fourth constituencies. From the Election Affairs Department in Shuwaikh, this is Sarah Glib reporting for English News.